Hi Jody. My name is Tim Moe and I'm the leader of the Libertarian Party of Canada. I heard the news last night that the Liberals dropped you as a candidate and I just wanted to express my my heartfelt sympathies and condolences for this ostracism. I, I think it's terrible. Unfortunately, you know, I wasn't all that surprised by the news. Um, I mean, frankly, you are dangerous, Jody Emery. Uh, you represent a threat to the status quo. Your message might cost them some votes, see, so there was obviously some careful calculations done behind closed doors and, and they red lit, lit you, didn't they? I mean, this just goes to show you, though, that Justin Trudeau and the Liberals are status quo machines. They simply reflect back to people what people already believe. They do absolutely nothing to change the system. Trudeau is as bland and manila and as minimally offensive as he can be, all wrapped up in a polished package that you can't not buy, right? Uh, take a lesson from firearms activists. These are non-violent people looking to have their basic human rights respected, just like cannabis activists. And according to a big chunk of these firearms activists, they can't risk Trudeau getting elected. I mean, they imagine that as bad as things are with Harper and as terrible as he was at, at, at advancing their cause, Trudeau will make things worse. He will, he's the devil incarnate. Does this line of thinking sound familiar at all? Has all these years with Harper made any difference for firearms activists? No. No, it hasn't. Harper's as bland and minimally offensive as Trudeau is. Uh, these guys both pay lip service to their voters and do ap absolutely nothing to advance the causes that they pay lip service to. Now, I don't fault Harper or Trudeau. These guys are, are guys who have fallen for the lie, the, the lie that change comes from the top down, that uh, you got to get to the top and get into power to affect change. But to get to the top, you have to reflect back to people what they already believe, don't you? You have to amplify their fears, become their savior. In the process, these guys become empty shells who simply reflect what they are told to reflect by the population that keeps them in power. And think about it, they have a narrowly defined range of policy adjustments that they can actually make and expect to maintain power. So, you know, these guys are effectively impotent. They're powerless to make change. They're not going to repeal prohibition on firearms or, or cannabis. So this idea that we need to, to prevent Harper or Trudeau from getting into power is, is silly. It matters very little which one of them get into power. And I'll tell you this, as long as firearms activists will happily throw cannabis growers in jail in exchange for keeping their guns, and as long as cannabis activists will happily throw firearms owners in jail, as long as they can grow their cannabis, the status quo will be maintained and we can expect zero meaningful change to happen. Neither Harper nor Trudeau is going to make anything appreciably better or worse for cannabis growers or firearms owners. So don't have any hope, but also don't have any fear. Status quo is going to be maintained. Now, it isn't the politicians that need to change. They are just vacuous popularity bots that simply reflect the uh, belief system of the people. What really needs to change is the people, the belief system, the idea that society ought to be organized around violence, that what we need is government in our lives to fix everything. Well, what we need are people like you, Jody Emery, to stand on the same stage as status quo politicians and challenge the belief systems of the audience. You need to stand up there and say to these people, why would you vote for any of these guys and support a system that locked my husband in prison for five years for selling seeds? What I worry about now is that your voice is marginalized. Now you won't have the chance to connect with hearts and minds in a powerful way. Now you will instead be this impotent voice co-opted by the status quo to parent the talking points and help these guys win popularity contests. I, I think that's sad. You could, be, you could be so much more, Jody. You're, you're a, a talented speaker. You connect with hearts and minds. You could be a shining light, a beacon of liberty, attracting hearts and minds to a message. You could be part of changing the status quo. This can't come from chasing votes. It can only come from taking a stand, showing people courage, you know, research shows that 
societal change occurs when a tipping point of 10% of people in a given population adopt an unshakable belief system. This happened with the abolition of slavery, it happened with women's suffrage, it happened with the civil rights movement. Uh, do you seriously think that any political party chasing votes in power will help people adopt an unshakable belief system in liberty or human rights? Uh, I invite you with open arms to join a political party who is chasing hearts and minds, not votes and power. Give me a call, Jody. Together, let's change the face of politics in Canada.